You know, I get advice from you ladies. You yes. ladies give the best advice. And I don't base oh, it on what you're married or whatever. And I even though know. I... I think I definitely base it on the character of the person, like you guys were saying, and also their type of experiences within the relationship. Sometimes people who are in much tumultuous uh, relationships on and off again, I'm probably not gonna ask them for advice mm -hmm. because I want to ask a person who, you know, has great character. Um, and also being single, this is one thing I do wanna say. Being single is not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes people are single just because they haven't found the right person or yeah. they're not- Why y'all put the camera on me? Why y'all put the camera on me? And also, <laughs> being divorced, does it mean you failed? Exactly. Sometimes people just, you know, grow apart. And I, why y'all laughing? Because they put the camera on me when you said oh. you ain't found the right person. You go into no. your long speech or and hit the camera on me. Or you to be single for, you know, yeah. uh, a certain type of, of reason that works for them. But Lonnie, you actually do give amazing advice. Well, thank and you. I think you're it's smart. true. Yes. It's true. Yeah. And Jeannie, you. you give amazing advice mm -hmm. because I remember, you know, after you got divorced, I asked you what are some of the things that you learned, yeah. and you told me some things that I should do and some things that you maybe should stop doing. So yeah. I definitely would want to learn, you know, from you. So I'm it definitely you, yes, you can I'll learn tell you, a lot. Go ahead. So I just like I'll tell you this much. When you meet a divorced person, mm -hmm. you are looking at a person who is absolutely going through or has gone through one of the hardest, most realist, confrontational deci decisions you make with yourself. Divorce mm -hmm. is something I would never... It's a lifelong thing. Not yeah. like that, but it's a life. It's, so you have it's, experiences. it's a decision that you face judgment and ridicule from everybody. You enter a percentage of 46% of people get divorced and you suddenly feel the self-shame. There's a lot that you go through. You become a victim to yourself and the judgment around you. That said, I also know a lot of married people who are sitting in marriages I was just gonna that are say not that. real, that they're living all for the kids and setting a generational curse of what oh, their parents went through. Just the way, Jeannie. Yes, and so just, I'm just saying, everybody's got their own skeletons in the closet, but to everybody who's faced divorce or to make that decision to find happiness for yourself, I applaud you because I know it's the bravest thing Absolutely. you ever had to do. I was well, just gonna I'm say that because there are some people who are married and just are really, and I don't really want unhappy advice from you. and criticize you, and yep. I'm not gonna listen to that. Yep. I'm not gonna you, listen I, to any I of like your, advice your from people advice. that drink, okay? If you don't drink, that's true I too, wouldn't man. Miss, drink will give you, that's yes. the truth, Sarah, right yes. there. That's hysterical. But the there is something to what Tam's saying. Yep. There's some married people that we yep. should not be taking advice from, and yep. there's some single ladies talking to single ladies, and you should not be taking advice from them either. Yes. Yes. It's and not that, about staying in your lane. It depends it's on the not. person's character and For it depends sure. on the person's experiences and what they have learned in their relationship. And not sure. everything looks like what it is. Exactly. Only those people in the four walls of their home know really what's up. Yeah, Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely true.